Good morning. I'm Mr. Ginder, your principal here at Homestead. We're using this video this morning to reach you about a number of topics as we start the school year. It's our hope that your school experience will prepare you for success beyond the walls of Homestead High School. To that end, everything we do, every expectation put in place, every opportunity available to you here is for your benefit. At this point in your life, you need to have big dreams and to make plans to fulfill those dreams, which should include a post-high school education. Be thinking about life in college, at a university or a trade school after you graduate. Freshman, you're in a place where you can reinvent yourself and start new. Use this to your advantage. Established high school students should be putting themselves in a place to earn dual credit, AP credits, or placement at Anthos Career Center. Our students have tremendous futures in front of them, and all of your teachers and the adults at Homestead High School are dedicated to give you every academic advantage possible during your high school years. Your commitment to excellence and greatness for yourself is the key ingredient during high school. Mr. Kintz will address a number of things concerning rules and expectations and a few of the major things which you need to be aware of here as the school year starts. I want to address a couple of things here too. School in general, but learning in particular, should have an elevated status in our culture and our community. How you present yourself here at school does matter. It matters today and it matters in your future. We all know that one cannot judge a book by its cover, but how you dress does matter as it presents a picture of who you are. People often make their most lasting decisions about us on simple things, but in the scheme of things, what really makes the longest and strongest impression in a person's memory is on how we speak. What you say and how we say it matters. Obscene, vulgar, inappropriate language will never be tolerated anywhere on campus or at school events here at Homestead. This means hallways, restrooms, classrooms, athletic fields, everywhere. And also, please respect the work of our custodial and cafeteria staff. Our older students have set the tone by picking up after themselves, grabbing loose trash in the hallways, or by letting an adult know when something needs fixed. Our school is second to none in how it looks, and that's a direct reflection on us as participants in the life of the school, but also shows that we honor those who work here to keep it clean. Lastly, and I know you've heard this from many sources, choose your friends, activities, and ways in which you spend your energy wisely. Think about it. Don't give up what you want most for what you want now. Have a great year, Spartans. Welcome back, Spartans. I am Mr. Kintz, one of the assistant principals here at Homestead. Attendance and tardies, timeliness to class, practice, work, life, all means something. Being on time means being dependable and mature, someone you can count on. Take pride in being to class on time as well as any appointment during the day you have. It speaks volumes about your character. As always, tardies will be counted and discipline will be assigned when you reach the limit of five. Tardy sweeps will be conducted as well. Our halls should be void of distraction during class time from bell to bell. Distractions to others during this time due to a student's tardiness to class are disrespectful to peers and teachers. Have respect for others' time and the opportunity to receive an education. Parking and driving. All students are expected and will be accountable for having proper parking tags placed on their rear view mirrors. Expect that these will be checked and make sure to park in properly designated areas. Do not park in no parking zones or in staff lots. Doing so will result in one warning and then if a second infraction occurs, loss of driving privileges. Keep in mind, chronic offenders will have their vehicle towed. If your vehicle is towed, there is a long drive to retrieve it as well as a substantial towing fee. Student athletes and co-curricular participants found to be in violation of possession of drugs or alcohol, using drugs or alcohol, or under the influence of drugs or alcohol will not only be at risk of being expelled from school, but also lose the opportunity to participate and or attend any Homestead High School sponsored events for the length of two semesters. If this is a chance that you think is worth taking, please don't consider becoming a member of one of our teams. HHS wants and respects students willing to pay the price to be a Spartan. Dress code. Please dress in an appropriate attire each and every day. Your education should be taken seriously and inappropriate attire worn while attending school is a distraction to your peers and staff members. Provocative clothing in a school setting as well as in the professional setting is generally not tolerated. Expect to be addressed and sent to the discipline office if the attire you choose for the day does not meet the dress code standards. New for the 2016-2017 school year dress code. Ladies, please remember 
that yoga pants, leggings, tights, etc. must be covered by a dress or skirt that extends to your fingertips while your arms are extended towards the floor. Leggings, yoga pants, tights, etc. may not simply be covered by a top of fingertip length. Dressing in this manner will be considered a dress code violation. All cell phone offenses will require a 24-hour hold on the phone. This means if you happen to have your phone confiscated by school staff, your parent or guardian may not pick up the device until the following morning. If your cell phone is confiscated on a Friday, your parent or guardian will not be able to pick it up until the following Monday. Also, keep in mind that all cell phones are to be turned off during any test, quiz, exam, or final. If you are seen with your phone out during any type of examination, you will receive a zero. Please take care to be responsible with your phones. Another addition to this policy was put into place late last year as it pertains to smartwatches. Students will be required to remove and store all smartwatches and any other device capable of accessing the internet prior to any assessment per teacher direction. Students may be asked to place smartwatches and other electronic devices under their chair, in their book bag, or other safe location during any assessment. If the student refuses to do so or attempts to hide the device from the teacher, the student will receive a zero on the assessment and will be assigned discipline for willful disobedience, resulting in one day of ISS. Attendance at detentions. In the event you are assigned to detention and fail to attend, expect to be assigned community service during the same time period the following week. If this is going to be an inconvenience for you, please take the time to evaluate what is most important for you, being to class on time or missing after school activities or personal events due to not being on time during the school day. Finally, look out for your peers. Camaraderie and tolerance were some of the most highly regarded qualities I witnessed by Spartans when I first started here at HHS several years ago and I continue to brag about even more today. I preach time and time again to friends and colleagues about how Spartans not only look out for one another, but also are, are accepting of every team, club, or group that exists here at HHS. Being a Spartan to me means giving everything you have to make your parents and peers proud, but most of all, yourself. Best of luck on a great year, Spartans. Be humble, observant, tolerant, respectful, and show your pride. Hello, my name is Mr. Zwerce. I know many of you already, as I served as the Dean here at Homestead for two years and was at Woodside last year. I'm excited to be a Spartan again. Today I want to talk briefly about opportunities. Homestead provides more opportunities for students than any school I've ever visited, worked for, or attended. From Project Lead the Way, to cadet teaching, to legitimately being in competition for a state title as a band member or athlete, to running a radio station or making jewelry. Heck, you can even train to be a chef electrician, nurse, police officer, or aircraft mechanic, all within your four years as a Spartan. As teachers and administrators, it is our job to put each student in the best position to access these opportunities. As students, all you need to do is take advantage of them. I spoke with a recent graduate who told me that as a Homestead student and senior experience member, she was starting college with 38 credits. She beamed as she explained how she could focus on taking classes in her major area of interest rather than on the typical classes that all college freshmen must take. Her parent commented that Homestead had saved them over $40,000 in college tuition, room, and board. A speaker once came to a high school very similar to ours and asked the student body to raise their hands if they planned to go to a college, a two or four year program. Almost all the hands in the auditorium went up. He then approached several who had their hands up and asked them why they planned to go to college and he received several blank stares, kind of like, I'm not really sure. Another student said, because that's what we're supposed to do? And still another few answers that basically amounted to, get a good job so I can earn a nice salary. Nothing about learning or going deeper in discovery of a field or idea that interested them. He then tried to get them to understand the difference between a job that one may be able to accomplish, but isn't very satisfying or enjoyable, and learning about and doing more of what one enjoys, and getting paid to do so. That path looks different for everyone, but the point is to find that path. So my challenge to you is to take advantage of the many opportunities HHS offers. It is my hope that you keep trying new things until you discover what really floats your boat. For some, that success may eventually look like attending a traditional four-year college, but for others, that may mean learning a skill one in high school now so that when they graduate from Homestead, they'll move right into a field that will pay them to do what they really enjoy doing, because after all, isn't that what success is all about? Have a great year, Spartans. Hello, I am Mrs. Summers, one of the assistant principals here at Homestead. 
I want to take a moment today to talk to you about big dreams, hard work, and how what you do in the classroom can have a significant impact on the rest of your life. Everything that you learn and each new skill you develop will open doors for you in the future. Set high goals. Strive for academic excellence. Learn from your failures and care enough to take advantage of the opportunities your teachers offer to help you to understand, to practice, to get better, and to try again. Expect great things from yourself and experience the satisfaction of doing your best. Do this and you will see rewards now and in the years to come. How you spend your days at Homestead will impact what type of training and education you will be eligible to pursue once you leave these halls and which careers you will be qualified to experience. It will impact how much money you earn in your lifetime and what lifestyle you will be able to afford. If you are not sure what you want to do after you graduate from high school, make it a priority to start thinking about three things. What are your skills and strengths? What do you love to do? And what does the world need? Searching for these answers will help you to find your purpose in life and give meaning to the challenges you face at school each day. Decide to make this year your best year and the start of great things to come. Thank you, Spartans, and have a great year. Welcome back, students. We hope you're ready for a terrific school year that lies ahead. I am Mrs. Bay, one of your assistant principals. This year, I'd like to challenge each and every one of you to identify your passion. What are your interests? What defines you? When you realize what that is, stand tall, be proud, and find others who have that same interest. We have probably three to 400 of you who've already begun to work with a group of students who have the same interests as you, music, athletics, and clubs. We can't stress enough students to get involved in a student group, find another reason beyond academics to come to school, and another reason to be proud of being a Spartan. As we continue to focus on respecting ourselves, respecting others' individuality, respecting the building and all who make Homestead High School great, let's build new relationships, make every day count, and start strong to finish strong.